Have you ever experienced where there are fish out there and you see them busting and they're going crazy and you just can't throw far enough? That is the worst feeling. Not being able to catch, like when the fish are just begging to be, to be caught, but they're just out of casting distance. That's the worst. Today we're gonna to be talking about ways to improve your casting distance so you can hit those schools. What's going on guys? We're finally back at the beach and today we're gonna to be talking about ways to get your casting distance further. So there are some tips and tricks that I've been given in the past year or two that really have improved the distance that I can cast. And they're pretty simple tips. You don't necessarily need a really, really long, expensive rod. Um, a nice nine to 10 foot rod is fine um, and you can still get it pretty far using this technique. So. I've got a few tips. First off, make sure you're throwing an actual surf rod. That helps a lot. A surf rod has a long extended butt end right here like this. That's a surf rod. Um, I'm throwing currently a 10 foot surf rod. I've got a 13 foot surf rod right here and a 12 foot surf rod as well. But I'm gonna show you with the 10 foot just to show that you don't need the longest rod to be able to cast very, very far. You can cast pretty far with just a 10 foot rod as long as it has this long butt end, that's really helpful. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, throwing with braid. This is 30 pound braid. If you go lighter, it'll go even further. Braid is really thin, so it'll just shoo, whew, all the way out there, really far. So light braid on a decent sized reel. This is a 5,000 size Stella. Um, I use this reel for pretty much a lot of my kinds of fishing. So this isn't necessarily a beach fishing reel, uh, but I use it everywhere. It's my, uh, my go-to right now. And tip number three, use your left arm to crank it down while you push with this arm. This is the biggest difference. When you're starting to cast a really long rod, this is a really helpful tip um, to really get you to be able to throw twice as far as you're able to. Because you're using the power of this arm and this arm at the same time. This arm will be pulling the butt end down, right? And this arm will be pushing it forward. Let's get it out there. So I start my arm up here, and what we're gonna wanna do is bring it across, take a step, and Bring your arm across and pull down while this pushes forward. I can't do it in slow motion, but I'll slow down the footage right now. Ready? And that went out pretty far. Did you see the motion of this pulling down while this pushes forward? It'll double the power. I love to use my um, Squiddy Bits bait box to put to cut my baits in here because it gets them all salty and it helps preserve the bait that I'm using. Okay, now I'm gonna be throwing on my 13 foot rod now. Any major difference between the two when you're casting? The 13 foot is actually a little bit harder to throw if you are not... Ooh, I got a bite. I should have waited a second longer. Okay. The 13 foot rod is not a great place for a beginner to start. I think a 10 foot rod is a great in between to start with so you can learn how to throw it first. 13 foot is a little bit trickier. Oh, I got a bite, Aaron, look. I'm on. Oh, it jumped. He's on. The fish are out far. So you gotta be able to cast far. Wait, 
What you got? Looks like a little bluefish. What you got going? Let's see. A little bluefish. There we go. Boom shakalaka. There's probably a whole bunch of these little guys out there. But the key is you got to be able to cast the distance. If you can't, you're not you're not targeting, you're not you're not getting in the target zone. If you can't hit that far, you're not getting in the target zone. There we go. Another important part. Here's my next tip. You have to be throwing the right amount of weight. Now, my rods are rated for certain for certain weights, but the, generally the heavier the weight, the farther it'll sling out. But you need to have a rod that can accommodate that. This one in particular can only throw two to six ounces. My other rod can throw three to 10 ounces. So you have to match it accordingly. Here's what eight ounces of sinker looks like. It's a pretty hefty guy. And throw this whole thing out. This is called eight and bait. And I'm still working on my Hatteras cast, which is a special technique cast where um, you are able to cast this really heavy weight and really heavy uh, bait really far out. So what are some tips that you keep in mind personally? Um, just basically practicing and use it, figuring out the momentum of the actual bait and the weight. I'm still working on it. It's hard to throw eight ounces. Now spinning reels won't cast as far as conventional reels. So I'm not saying I have the furthest cast out of everyone here. I'm saying Using this tip, using these tips really helped me increase my casting distance. Spinning wheel is great, but conventional reels can really get the job done. All right, so now I'm just gonna fish into the night and hopefully some big fish will come out to play. What did he get a bite? That one got a bite earlier. Oh, oh you do. <laughs> well, on. It jumped out there. What does it look like? I don't know. It feels it feels all right. Oh, it just got popped off. It just popped off. I think it was a trout. Darn it. Darn it. Just came off. Let's get another bait out then. So for bait, we're using the mullet that we just caught by net the other day. I'm gonna keep that in my cooler right here. This is the local bait. This is what all the fish are feeding on. Local bait usually means that's what the fish are in the mood for. And I'm gonna chunk it up just like this. Good thing I kept them fresh on ice because they don't want them when they're not fresh. Okay. Now, these two pieces right here. Just like that. Now, a secret weapon to keep it all secure. A starfish? Oh, I do have a starfish in here. <laughs> yeah, super no. salty starfish. Okay, we'll put some 
uh, some of our new clams and a shrimp. There we go, just like that. And this is going to be great because if small fish peck it off, peck off the mullet, there's still going to be the, the salted baits on it because they're a little tougher than normal. Just like that. <laughs> Doing flip flops. Why are you Because I was lazy. <laughs> Now we just walk it back to the car. Already? Really? Yes. Yes, Brendan. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on already. That was Ooh. quick. We will have to wait. <laughs> Here we go. What'd you what get? Is that? What'd you get? Oh, it's a nice big bluefish. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Ooh. That's a bluefish cake one right there, Aaron. Yes. I've been waiting for bluefish cakes. There we go. You ready for bluefish cake, Aaron? Maybe we'll have that for dinner. Oh, that'd be nice. That's a nice one. But I mean, honestly, Aaron, we have a lot of trout from earlier. Do we want to keep it or let it go? Uh, well, we have to eat the trout, so. Let's just let it go. <laughs> Later, bluefish. Later, gator. I want to catch some trout. Mm. I want to see what else will bite this. That went pretty far. How did it look? Now whatever bites this one is going to be something big. Or it's going to be something small and all the bait will be gone. But now you're just going to fish into the night? Now I'm just going to fish into the night. And uh, hopefully we'll get on some big, big fish. You recording? Yep. It looks Woo. great. I got something. Let's see what I'm bringing back into the darkness. It's here. It's here. Special delivery. It's a trout. What the heck is that? It's a trout. No, it's a red drum. Oh. Nice. That's a puppy drum. It bit the mullet shrimp combo. Nice. There we go. But that is way too small to keep. We're going to have to let this guy go. All right. 
This is fun. This is the ultimate way to beach fish. Okay. Look at our beautiful campsite. Oh, I love it. You can't hardly see it. Yeah. <laughs> think. Oh, yeah. I'm on a fish! I can't see anything. Sorry. I can see you. Oh, Whoa! Puppy. That is a... Whoa! It's yeah. a little red drum. Yeah. Nice, Brendan. One puppy drum. What'd you say? I said I can't believe I got one. <laughs> that was the tidiest red drum I've ever caught. <laughs> this was so fun. I really enjoyed doing this kind of fishing. And um, if you guys like this kind of video, I encourage you to like and subscribe because we do these videos every single Thursday. Um, what can I say? We caught some fish, we had some fun. I showed you guys how to cast a, a, a rod. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to help as many people get on fish as possible. And we want to make learning how to fish easy. And we do this by writing tutorials, by doing videos like this. And uh, I write a bunch of eBooks that I put online hayskipperfishing.com whether it's surf fishing, pier fishing, jetty fishing, fishing with bait, how to tie surf fishing rigs, I've got all sorts of tutorials on our website hayskipperfishing.com so check it out if you want some more help. Again, like I said before, I'm not saying I'm the best at casting but I've been improving using these tips right here. So take it with a grain of salt, see what you like, try it out for yourself and report back to me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next Thursday.